Oh yeah, that's a big one. Me too. That's a very nice one. Got one. Got it. Nice one. What's going on, people? We're out here on the river. You guys know this spot all too well by now. As you can see, it's getting dark out here now. And we decided to come down and throw a line. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, feel free to subscribe and show us some love. We appreciate all the support. Anyways, we're gonna roll the video. Maddie just hooked up. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Might have to be the net man here. If you can get her. This is a big one, guys. So I'm gonna be the net man. If you can get it right here to me. Right to me. That's a very nice one. We have the Landon's baby a little lopsided, but this is a very nice fish. Where are you at a little bit? A little bit. That's um <laughs> That's, That's a, a big, big fish. fish. Let's get a weight on it. Alright. Look at this monster. Almost three pounds. You're so close. Dang, that's a big fish. Very fat. You guys, this is a almost three pound fish in a two pound frame. It's really fat. Good catch. Thank you. Alright guys, so we're gonna release this baby back into the wild. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to land that fish. <laughs> Put up a good fight. A little revive. Yeah, she's good though. There she is. Nice. Thanks. All right, let's get this back out there and see if we can do this again. That was a good fish. Yeah, I didn't even feel her bite. I just reeled in and I felt like it felt like I was hung up on a log. Yeah, once the drag started peeling, I knew that was a fun catch. Got one. It's a pretty fish. You can tell he's been caught before because the huge hole in his lip. That is not from just me. <laughs> I caught him in pretty quick. But all right, see you, buddy. Thank you. really late you can see the sun is starting to set we actually uh we went out with maddie's little sister earlier tried to help her get on a fish but she ended up falling into the river so we're on a bit of a time crunch we're just gonna have some fun and do what we can do go under this i was never really good at limbo so all right there we go and I'm just using this little black and blue. That's what we're throwing around, these little black and blue crawls. All right, there we go. It was a very nice size fish. Earlier today, me and Maddie caught a few. Most of them uh, ended up getting off right at the bank though. They were just kind of one pounders, small fries. That was a very fat fish. I'm telling you guys, it's like a three pound fish in a two pounder's body. Keep this crawled out around. So I do think it will get bit if we can get it in front of a fish's face. Yeah, let's go up here with this guy. These smallmouth river fish are so much fun. It's addicting. Let's go over this way. Get back over the fence. Definitely ain't the 17 year old I used to be. All right, let's go. Hopefully there's no snakes. We're where we want to be. Kind of shallow right there. A little more shallow than I wanted it to be. 
Oh, there's a snake in the water. You guys see that snake? I'm not too sure if it picked that up, but what kind of snake that might have been. And it's so crazy. I kind of knew we need to watch for snakes, and as soon as I come down here, I'll see a snake. Oh, got hammered right there. Thought I was going to have that fish. That's crazy. Let's get it back in there. He should bite again. Oh, I just heard a fish jump, too. I think we came out at the right time, guys. Oh, he's biting. Fish freaking hammered this crawl. They are hammering it. They're just not taking it. I can't believe you get a bite that good. Maybe it did poke him a little bit. I didn't think it did, but it might have. Trying to work this guy just like you would. Make him look just like you would expect a crawdad to look. Coming across. It was right here at my feet. It was kind of unexpected. But now. Got it. Got it. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, he hit me on the... I was not really expecting it. All right, guy. Let's try to flip him. I need to tighten my drag. I should have tightened my drag before I tried that flip. Now I'm kind of screwed. Might have to flip him over to you. Can you grab it? Yeah. You can grab the string. He's good. All right. Hi, big guy. Ooh. Another nice one, guys. I knew I felt something biting right there. Girl, thanks for biting him. It's a beautiful fish. Second best of the day. That was probably the least smoothest job I've ever done landing a fish. Lesson learned. I couldn't reach down to tighten my drag. If I would have taken my finger or hand away from reeling for a second, it would have just sent the baby flying right back down the bank. So definitely, if you need to tighten your drag, do so before. And this drag, I want you guys to know, I'm pulling it as hard as I can. That fish was a fighter, two and a half pound fighter. So Maddie got almost a three pounder. That was a two and a half pounder. Not a bad day. Two very uh, quality fish right there. But we're gonna come right back down here. Hopefully that snake went on that way and is not coming back this way. I don't know if that was who hammered me. I think it was the fish that bit earlier because the fish that bit earlier felt very powerful. It did not feel like a dink. And that was a pretty nice fish, so. Did you guys see that beautiful sunset? It's a beautiful night to be out. These little speed crawls definitely get it done. If you guys are interested, I'll put the maker of the bait in the description. Catch quite a few more fish on it before it's done. Nice quality baits. Yeah, that fish kind of threw me off. I thought I was getting snagged up the way he ate it. Didn't really feel it happening. And then as I'm pulling, I'm like, that's a fish. It's weird. The whole process was just so not smooth. From the hook set all the way to landing the poor guy on the bank. But we were able to get her back in the water. She took off really quickly. Uh-oh, there's a bite. Must have been too little to take the bait. Try again. See if we can't catch another fish before it's completely black out here. That one actually felt bite. That big girl, I did not. She just came up and inhaled it, and I thought I was snagged. Yeah, they're right up against this bank, which I honestly figured. They would be with the river being up like it is. I would love to be able to go down and fish all this bank, but I don't know if the camera picked up the snake in the water when I first stepped over here. And I'm not trying to, uh, oh, missed it. There was another one right there. It's right underneath that tree and he bites very powerfully just getting dark really quick on us. We had a really eventful day so we were extremely late getting out. But hey, two good quality fish like that in 20 minutes. I'm not mad about it. I see my little bait. He's doing like a little dangle. I'm just trying to move this guy exactly how you would picture a crawdad move in. I'm going to step down here just a little bit. Yes. There we go kind of exactly where I wanted it to be so that's good it's getting dark though oh that's a bite that's a good bite definitely 
definitely not a fish. That was a snail. What were we tangled into? Some trees. It appears in somebody else's fishing line. Tangled around that. We'll do a few more casts right here and I'll come over there with you, okay? Yeah, but guys, this has to be my favorite river bait right here. The speed crawl. I know there's days that they want moving baits. They want, you know, all these different things. That is why this is my favorite. You can literally work this guy like a moving bait. And these little pinages kick so nice. And you can work it slow. It is my go-to. And when it's mounted up, when it's getting dark out like this, was that you? Good cast. And came all the way over here with me. When it's getting dark like it is right now, I love to use like a black and blue when the water's dirty, um, anything like that. When it's clear, sunny, clear water, going with the green pumpkin. So pretty much the exact same rules I apply to every bait. I just know there's one more fish in there. He's been biting me. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, he's biting. One, two, three. Got him. All right, he ain't as little as I thought. Dang, it's nothing but big ones over here. It's a big one. I mean, not as big as the last one, but definitely not a small one, like a one and a half pounder. Calm yourself. I got him good, right where you'd want to get him. All right, guys, this fish right here is about a pound and a half. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, guys, we're gonna get this beauty back into the water. Beautiful little fish. It's very sharp teeth, too. Thanks, buddy. Maddie, trying to untangle a pole <laughs> with 30 pound tests on it. You guys see, we're done for the night. We'll catch you guys on the next one.